All right, let's do this, guys. SmileCon 2022. Wow, this is a big, big conference center. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What? <laughs> wow. They could easily fit probably two thirds more booths in here. Yes. <laughs> I mean, some 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 places I've been to are, are just packed. Look how big this room is, guys. All right, where should we start? Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Okay, start. Let's find some cool stuff, man. Oh, wow. Get this. I'll tell you what, I'm so happy to have this uh, small camera. <laughs> it's so, That's a neat, neat little camera. So much easier. Wow. So this is American Dental Association and uh, what other associations are part of uh, this? ADA. American, okay. uh, yeah. ADA, the SmileCon is a, uh, a host. Okay. Uh, they're actually uh, got SmileCon next year in Orlando. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this ADA store. So you can stick, select your literature. Yep. Yeah. Oh wow, up, up that's what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, very neat. Specs. So this is already immediately different. How you doing, sir? Good, how you doing? Definitely different. So ADEC, guys. Very cool. And this is, you know, it's been so long since I've worked on them that this is the first LED model I've ever touched. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead serious. Like, I, the old halogen style is uh, the style that I'm used to. And these chairs just look so comfortable. Take a look at this, guys. Yes. And you know, um, also I know that since I quit working on dental, they started putting these arms in, you know, because uh, the the old where the the tubes go all the way down yeah, the floor. Yeah, the, the radius uh, traditional. Yeah. These are considered. They get different names for them. Buggy whips. They call them uh, continentals. Okay. Uh, European style. Yeah. What over we're the talking patient. about is that style over there, guys. Yeah. So got a now, lot of different names for now, them. Would you prefer this style or the other style? Uh this style sometimes is hard on your wrist. Okay. Uh, but, you know, you don't trip over the cords over there. Right, right. And it's easy to do, but most prefer the traditional. Wow. And is this, an, would, is this an amalgam separator? Uh, I think it's a uh, vacuum pump. What? It's like a, uh, a vacuum pump. And so why has it got a, a conical uh, separator at the top? Uh, it's, it's a new design. I haven't actually seen it. Okay. It's very cool. <clears throat> Could you tell me uh, why does it have the conical separator at the top of this pump? Is, is that just, uh, that is your amalgam separator and everything? Or? No, uh -uh. Like, so there's no amalgam separator on this. You could attach an amalgam separator okay. to it, but, um, but it doesn't have one built okay. into it. Just a uh, dry vac? Yes, yep. It's a massive centrifugal suction pump. Wow, very cool. A lot are going to this road of your design. That's interesting. If you compare it to uh, a dental lease ram back, yeah, you can get this in in a wet ring area versus the other one. You can't. So when people were up, upgrading, uh, they they built their practice for wet rings. Now the dry backs come along, and you can't fit a ram back in there. So, huh? It's actually. I like Very how nice. the, it's an open chassis design so that you can service it easily. Uh, that's... Yes, but most of those motors are just remove and replace because they're sealed. Oh. So now as far as the rest of it, no. But... Very cool. But, you know, it's, it's a, uh, they've gotten a lot better with them. Yeah. Gotten a lot better with them. Some of the very first ones come out 
were not very good. They just overheated. Oh yeah. Uh, and now they've actually they've come out and gotten a lot better with technology. So interesting. They were very first designed in, in a European market. So what happened with the European market is the European market actually turned suction on when the patient's in the chair. Okay. In the American market, it's suction's always on. always on. Right. So, you know, over there they kind of conserve energy. So these actually held up very well in uh, the European market. But whenever you try to compare European to, you know, the, the North American market, it's a little bit more difficult sometimes, you know? I wonder how quiet that compressor is, because I've seen imagine, other models that are just I imagine like, it's very quiet, because it's got, uh, we could ask her. Hey, what's I mean, the, uh, here we go. Or not, that's promotion. See, uh, this is like a. Uh, I've, I've seen similar Dean, designs. Dean, and Dean Dental air compressors. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it, it's all a uh, insulated box, mm -hmm. so very quiet. You probably yeah. could put this underneath the counter and probably be quieter than a right. dishwasher. Again, I, I like how it's nice and easy to open the front panel. Yeah. Cool. Hey, Dick. What other cool stuff we got around here? And uh, how, how loud is this? Like in decimals? Mm -hmm. Let me see if I have our decimals. I don't have it memorized. It's only got one open access port, and that's in the rear. It's mm -hmm. very quiet, though. And actually, we can turn it on. It's yeah. Outside. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's uh, maybe 50 or 60 decibels. Why? Yeah, it's very quiet. 65 decibels, maybe? You could, out, you could actually okay. pretty much have it next to a chair. Yeah. 68 decibels. All right, all right. 68 <laughs> decibels. That's at its loudest. That's amazing. I would love to have one of those in my garage. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> very cool. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Have a great day. You too. So, let's see. We are in the middle of the show, guys. Middle of the show. <laughs> you know, in, in some ways, there's these, these creepy little heads that are all over the place. But I mean, what a better way to demonstrate your product than with, you know, a head. Oh, analgesia. Okay. Yep. Very cool. See, that's the typical light that I'm used to seeing. Yeah, those. It has been a while. Oh, look at this. So here's a technology that has definitely been uh, crazy since I got out of doing dental, and that is the, the whitening lasers and stuff. Yes, uh, zoom lights, right, right. pretty much. Very cool. Uh, it actually intensifies the, the uh, clean. Good morning. What are you doing? Are you taking a video? Yes, ma'am, absolutely. Some more loops. I can see the uh, doctor loops are definitely going to be a highly sought item in this show. <clears throat> <laughs> this is cool. Some of these booths are really original. How you guys doing? I uh, do YouTube, and uh, I've been doing it for four years. It's been going really well, really well. So, ladies, you can see right now we are coming up the backside, and there's. I I just know that I'm gonna get absolutely lost in here. I'm gonna be doing a lot of uh, turns, you guys. I hope you don't mind that, because, uh, you know, in order to get like all the stuff that's happening on both sides, uh, I'm gonna to have to. Oh, look at this. Very cool. Look at these. 
This is so cool. See, what's funny is a lot. Oh, hello, ma'am. A lot of people don't even understand that this is a camera. <laughs> Very cool. I like the different style of overhead lights. That's that's one of the things I've been paying attention to. Is you know, with LEDs, everybody's got their own best way of doing it. You know. Yes. So most all the vendors that I've seen so far are new products, and almost none of them are on um, the sale of or, or the services side, more so. Very very few services side. Most most catered to, uh, to dental practices. So these are the little kiosks that uh, they said the turnkey kiosk. Is that the kiosk? Yeah, and uh, those are fifteen hundred dollars. The, for a turnkey kiosk is what they call it. So, and you know, to criticize them, uh, I would expect the kiosk to be everywhere. Like, yes, all not, over. not all down one little row. Put them everywhere. Like it's a kiosk. It's it's one of those things you walk by, and that would make them very marketable. And for you guys, if you see that the video is wandering and stuff, this is a brand new camera I have never used before. And uh, this particular camera has got a tiny, like three quarter of an inch screen. And that's how I know what's in frame and what's not in frame. So guys, it is what it is, man. Um, TPC Dental. Very cool. Oh, hey. This is a cool little system. You guys that uh, have a maxillofacial surgery and uh, emergency surgery for dental, you see a portable dental cart right there. Yes. Very neat uh, because a lot of them that we use in hospitals is old, you know, the old, old style, like the ADEC style. Um, yeah, those uh, ones with the curly. That's a cool system. I like it. Very cool. So that's uh, tpcdental.com. Uh, looks like we have some presentations that they're going to put on in a little bit. Kind of cool. Some educational material, promotional material. Okay, you're welcome. So some of these designs of the chair itself is like the old ADEX style. Like that's, yes. what, that's what I call uh, the ADEX style. Um, I've seen in some of your videos that you're installing some, some newer style. Like, I think this one coming up is a newer style. That's a uh, Belmont. Yeah. This, now, so here's some interesting design features. Is like the, the integrated controls into the, the back of the chair. It is, that's pretty cool. I dig it. Again, tiny LED overhead light. That looks like a phenomenal chair. Looks very comfortable. How you guys doing? And let's see, we've got the dental room with a X-ray. And oh, this is a cool style light. I dig this. I think it's called a halo. I think it's called a halo. I think it's a halo. Look at, look at the pattern that it puts out. Yeah. That's pretty cool that it, uh, that way there, look at, I mean, look at the, the, the definite line. So yeah, blasting your patient. Yes. Very cool. These look like super comfy, comfy chairs, guys. And uh, take a look, that's those whips that we were talking about before, guys. And that was kind of a new thing back when I was finishing uh, working on dental. So uh, interesting. Now they got digital controls in in the doctor's console. 
Some neat stuff, man. Neat stuff. And then, let's see, we got this one here. Oh, look how thin the chairs are now. Yes. <laughs> oh, this one's got an extra large water bottle. <clears throat> Traditional style console with uh, membrane switches. Mm -hmm. That is Belmont. Thanks, guys. You recognize that one, don't you? No, I've never seen this before. I like the uh, foot switches, though. Yes. That's kind of cool. It's going to fit them uh, all the way flat. That's a really compact chair. Yes. Now, would this be more like a portable unit? No, no, more oral surgery. Okay. Wow. Very, very, uh, if you look at a lot of the... Shot. It's all good, <laughs> sir. It's all good. If you look at a lot of the chairs that are out there, uh, the manufacturers that are around, this is probably one that's, that's unique. Uh, very good chair, though. Really? Very, very nice because it'll, it. it'll fold out flat. Nice. You had a fold out flat. Well, it looks like it's got all the articulations that I would be looking for. So we got some more loop glasses. And let's see. So, do you know what biofilm therapy is? No. I've never heard of that Looks before. like a... Uh, it's a prophylaxis unit. Looks I, like a like, prophy, prophy jet, possibly. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. So you guys know about the ultrasonic prophylaxis uh, that we're all very familiar with. There's some interesting design features on some of these newer ones. This one here has obviously got a, a cup, which is kind of cool. Very interesting. Sorry guys, this camera tends to wander on its own. And uh, it's interesting that they have it on a rolling stand. Again, I can see a real application of this and some of those emergency uh, situations. You can deploy this guy pretty quickly. Pretty cool. Hi. No ma'am. For the most part, I think it's uh, Kind of self-explanatory. Very cool. All right. Oh, uh, tabletop on there. Yeah. I like how it's it's, it's got a touch console, although uh, that capacitive touch, I historically with other medical devices, I, I don't know. I, I would assume it works good with gloves. Yes, I imagine it works very good with gloves. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. That is yes, biofilm therapy. <laughs> so one of the interesting things that I've noticed, guys, and, and you guys are probably noticing it too, is that people are automatically weirded out that I'm recording them. <laughs> yeah, you guys might not notice it. I definitely notice it here in person. But most people, you know, uh, compared to the um, the other industries, you know, and this is the type of response that I got back when I started recording, uh, even like the MD Expos and stuff, is uh, I was getting these weird responses from people, and uh, hardly anybody wants to like demonstrate their product because they're they're weirded out. It's on camera. What's up? This is uh, Flack Dental Systems, and. Uh, He's a local guy. He's in Houston. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh, excellent. How you doing? Good. Good. How's it going, brother? It's good, man. He's doing a YouTube video. Oh, nice. Yeah. That is a very comfy looking chair, guys. Huh. And look at this. 
Now this one here, I actually kind of prefer this. They keep it compact, off, out of the way. And more importantly, take a look at where the hoses go. Look at this. It goes right there. How cool is that? Plus, the, you know, they got the floor control. Very neat. So, right across the way, again, we've got the, the teeth. <laughs> we've got the faces. And I, I like that they've got setups so we can demo. Very cool stuff, guys. You see Wade doing his thing. He's a talker, man. Wade's awesome. He's a people person, which is why he's so successful in business. So honestly, guys, I have no idea where we are gonna go next because this is an enormous show, enormous. All right. Oh, they have some microscopes. That's kind of cool. Very cool. Look at some of these tall displays. Really incredible. Some companies spend a lot of money at these shows. Neat stuff. That's something I was not expecting. Knives. Although, I love knives, guys. I'm going to do some knife videos coming up soon because um, I myself carry a knife everywhere I go, including here. Um, it's the most useful tool that you can have. But, uh, anyway, maybe I'll go over and talk with those guys next. Very cool. I see uh, some chairs, like over here, some neat stools. And uh, some of those dental stools are some of the best stools for using repairing equipment because there's like an arm bolster that swings around in front of you. And um, what a cool, very expensive stool, but definitely worth it. Great. So while Wade's talking, I'm going to go ahead and proceed. We've got a, another style of dental chair over here. Very cool. I like how you got little air compressors and stuff because obviously dental chairs require that in order to function correctly. Very cool, I guess. Cutco, how cool is that? How you doing guys? I would not normally see guys, I love knives. Would not normally expect to see something like this at, a, at this kind of trade show, but how cool is that? Those are beautiful knives, too. Beautiful. <clears throat> Again, we got these relaxation chairs. Very cool items. So, as I said before, I'm not seeing a lot of um, dental repair. And I, I, don't, I don't know why. I would, I would think, you know, some of these uh, booths would be like, hey, we repair dental stuff. But nope. Not so far. Keating Dental Lab. Some of these dental labs have some cool products coming out. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Doing really well. What's that? Love to. Hot and cold box. When you stop it at a point, you get some hot by an exothermic reaction. And it's reusable when you drop it in warm water. What? Feel it. You can make it a cold pack by placing it in your refrigerator. Guys. You want to stop it yourself? No, no, it's all right. I don't no, want to waste do them. It. They're reusable, sir. We do what? All day long. Oh my gosh. Look at. Okay, so if you guys can see, it's turning into a, a semi solid. It's going from squishy to semi solid. Send me the video, send me the video. 
That is what? It liquefies by the hot water. And then you can redo this again and again and again. <laughs> it's really warm right now, guys. It's a exceedingly warm. And we have big ones too. This is very the cool. The back, Called the, feet, the, the Wonder Packs. And what's, what's the web address where people can... Uh, um, it's wonderpacks.com. Wonderpacks.com. Yeah. All right. It's all over London. Look at this lineup. Oh, my gosh. It's a thing of beauty. I'm it's actually high. so glad that you stopped me. This is yeah, so no cool. Problem. This is so cool. Like what an original like, product. You want to try it on? So, uh, no, no, no. That's no. all right. No, that's all right. <laughs> no but problem, uh, no normally I, I wouldn't even cover this kind of content, but you just nabbed me and I was like, let's do it. I, I love cool new products. It's still really warm, guys. Yeah, it's going to be warm for about uh, 30, 40 minutes. Really? Yeah, the big ones will give you the warmness for about an hour and a half or two. Wow. And they cold as well for an hour and a half, and you can use this for 10 years of your life, which is a pretty long time. It's a whole decade. This is wild. What a cool product. This is how the big ones will like right? Oh, feet. my goodness, guys. It's for the foot. Oh, my gosh. So if you're, this is such an original product. How cool is that? Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for trying. I appreciate the demo. All right, guys. This is interesting. So they do have packs for the feet, the slow squares. What a cool product. And you put it in boiling water and it resets it and you do it again and again and again. Interesting. Absolutely interesting. You never know what you're going to run into, guys. You never know. And uh, that's just <laughs> evidence of it. I'll probably order a pack of those myself. Um, because why not? I mean, I, I get back pains and stuff just like y'all do. And uh, the one for the feet, after these days uh, on the road with these shows, at the end of the show, your feet hurt. Absolutely hurt. And uh, to have a warm pack that you strap on your foot, that's, uh, that's definitely an interesting concept. I dig it. I really do. So, how are you guys doing? Doing really well. So I'm going to try and get you guys uh, views of everything that I can see because it's such a big show. I can't guarantee it, but I'm going to see what we can do for y'all. All right. So, as I was saying before, um, you will notice that some people are weirded out about being on camera. And the thing is, is if, in my opinion, if you are here at one of these uh, one of these events, then um, you should you should automatically. That's so cool. They're giving away Legos. You should just be ready to talk to people and show your product and be happy to be here. You notice like most of the faces on most of the people that they, they, they look like they are less than amused. And given that this is the last day of the event, but still, I mean, this is one of those things. Look at this. You want, you want a coffee or something? That's what I'm talking about. Very cool. And uh, you know, they're often giving away things and whatnot. Very cool. How you doing? U.S. Army Dentistry. So many of you guys know I was attached to an Army unit my first three and a half years in the military. And uh, I worked alongside Army dentists that entire time. And uh, <laughs> they were some of the coolest people. Some of the coolest people I have ever worked with. Okay, so here's gonna be some of the things that I'm really curious about. So what we have now is the future when it comes to uh, dental implants. And uh, this is a mill, and just like a, a CNC mill. You see, it's not very big. Not very big at all, in fact. And what you can do is you can put a blank in there and based on a 3D model, it will cut out according to 
what you guys need according to the patient. So, interesting stuff. Very cool. So there's going to be several other vendors that are going to have uh, 3D mills and stuff. But, uh, this is the first one I've seen at the show. I know there's going to be some others, but this is the first one. So very curious. So here we got another one. We've got right here. We've got, we got membranes, it looks like, down on the chair. We've got the console up high. Cool looking chair. Very cool. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Beautiful. Yeah, it is. So, you know, it's, I don't know. <laughs> when I'm walking around here, um, a lot of people just don't really want to come up and talk to me. And I don't know if it's because I'm on camera and they feel like they're bothering me or what. But uh, you never know. You really never know. Very cool. You guys know I did a video on uh, various types of gloves. So I would automatically expect that we're going to see a lot of that stuff here. Oh. So I'm see we have a class going on at the moment and there is a class on the adjacent wall over here going on very cool look at this a posture stop <laughs> what is that okay interesting all right hello amazon business Very cool, guys. Look at what I got coming up over here. Very neat. Again, sorry, guys. I got to do some twirls so that we cover everything. But, uh... It's the first x-ray I've seen at the show. Interesting. So obviously, it's an all digital system, as they all are nowadays. That's a VA tech. How you guys doing? Is that a camera? It is, it is. So maybe that's why everybody's weirded yeah, out. Yeah, I was like, is it, are you measuring like outputs no. from the yeah, machine yeah. or well, something? <laughs> so I, I was just saying uh, that like everybody is weirded out. Nobody's talking to me, which is okay. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm fine with that, but is, okay. it, is it because they know it's a camera or because they think I'm like secretly doing yeah. it? Like some of the people with dental chairs, you can see their angry faces. It's like, really? I'm dead serious. Really? Yeah. So some anyway, just not, not I've, I've got a YouTube channel where I talk about medical technology mm -hmm. and uh, I got probably the biggest YouTube channel for medical technology. Really? Yeah. That's and cool. uh, when I see some cool stuff, I just got to capture it. it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice. we'll show so it this is the yeah. first x-ray that I've seen uh, at the show. Of course, I've only been through maybe a third. Yeah, there's a couple on the other side, but uh, this one's the best x-ray you'll see. So. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Very cool. It really is. You can see right here, they've got some handhelds. Some handheld guns. Very neat. That's why it's got that uh, thick protective glass on it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time. Overjet. Look at that display. I like the balloons. That's a cool. That's a cool mix right there. I really dig it. Look at that. Very original. The toothbrush. The teeth. <laughs> I dig it. Social reach. And let's go back. So I got to pan around, guys. Definitely some cool stuff, some cool demos. I dig it. Uh, 
You always get some cool handouts too. These guys right here giving away the glasses. How y'all doing? Curve dental? Oh, look at this. He's showing the different models of teeth on the screen. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but uh, definitely some new technology. That's the, the future of dental is going to be in 3D imaging and uh, using computers to help do your business better. Hey, how's it going? It is a camera. <laughs> it is. All right. Oh, cool. Look at this. Derma fuse. Cool little device. How y'all doing? Is this like a like an ultrasonic therapy type unit? What 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 is it? I want to know what your we're device an aesthetic, is. We're an aesthetic device manufacturer, so we help dentists that are looking to implement facial aesthetics. Okay. Facial aesthetics into their practice. So that's an infusion device. So it actually infuses formulas into the skin for purposes. No kidding. All right. Well, that's why I definitely haven't seen those heads before. They, it looks like in regular medical, what we would call an ultrasonic therapy, especially since you've got two different size heads. But uh, interesting. Well, anyway, uh, uh, yeah, this is a camera. <laughs> and uh, I have a YouTube channel where I talk about medical technology. So when I, cool, I see cool stuff, I just have to, I have to get it and talk about it. All right. Thanks for your time, guys. All right. I think we lost Wade. <laughs> we, we lost Wade. He's, he's uh, talking. And when we are doing, uh, when we are doing videos, we, we have to uh, keep moving. And, and that's, not, <laughs> that's not Wade's style. So, hey, ladies, how's it going? All right, oh wow, we got some other cool stuff coming up. Anytime I see square boxes and x-rays, there's gonna be some cool stuff. What is it? Oh, all right. Look at this, it is another 3D mill. This is pretty cool. So, as I said before, it's a CNC, but for teeth. You can see how they put the blank in and how it mills it out accordingly. So you get a more accurate representation of a patient's mouth than the old style of doing a form and then, uh, you know, crafting the form by hand. You see, wow, it's beautiful. It's cool that they got the demo still set up. It's called the Sarah Mill. Set. How you guys doing? Good. I'm uh, recording a video for YouTube. And you can see right there exactly what it is. Very cool. This is the first mill that I've seen that's actually got a, a, a demo set up inside it. You know, the other ones just have the mill sitting there. I was like, well, that's not impressive, you know? <laughs> have it doing something or at least show what it does. And uh, I've been telling my viewers that it cuts a three-dimensional three uh, replica of a patient's mouth. That's the first actual example that I had set up where I could show it. Zirconia is milled 20% larger. Right. When you center it, it shrinks. Right, right. So this, for somebody that's honestly you look at, it's like that's massive. But when it shrinks, then that's how it works. Very cool. It takes the hardness, the color, and the strength after it's centered. Really? That's amazing. Very cool, guys. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Okay. So we have another x-ray. This is a cool one. Different setup. You can see uh, it is a 3D ready x-ray called the Ray Scan. Very cool. And it looks like it's got a mirror, right? It looks like a mirror, but it's also probably an aiming beam. And it's extra wide. Take a look at that. And it's got a handle. Interesting.
compared to the days of the dental x-ray I used to fix, these ones are pretty impressive. Definitely impressive. Oh, cool. And here's another mill. It, just as we've seen. And you can see where everybody's going for the implants and for the 3D modeling. How you guys doing? What is this device? It's a hand washing station? This is Iggy. Iggy is a way to um, clean your hands, disinfect your hands in less than seven seconds using no chemicals, no alcohol. Okay. Um, strictly using water. It's brand new technology. It's not brand new technology. Actually, it's been used since the 1890s. All right. Um, but it's brand new technology to get into this format. And to get into size. Uh, normally, the generators that do this are about this big. Um, we've got them down to about half the size of your pinky, and there's eight of them. So we actually generate those all. So how does it clean your hands using only water? Is it just it that it... It converts the water to ozone. Oh, okay. Ozone so O3? Attacks, yeah. So ozone actually attacks all the bacteria and viruses right. on your hands. Very cool. So in seven seconds, your hands will be cleaner than they've ever been. Would you mind like a, a, a demo? Uh, so Here, I'll let oh. you demo. Oh, okay. sweet. So you want your thumbs up. Thumbs up, straight on in. Stop by itself. That's an interesting contraption. Now take your fingers and do this. I feel it's Isn't it incredible. Yeah, it's taking all the biofilm off your hands. It's, it's, you don't really smell the ozone. There's, while we're using a lot uh, because it's aqueous ozone, it's captured in the water, and you just don't have the off gas. That's so cool. That is so cool. So it recirculates the the water that's inside it. Is well, that this you would normally hook it up to a water supply. Okay. And and a, to a drain. I got so you. So just like a water pump. No more serious than that. Yeah. Interesting. So it's called the Iggy yeah. by 30 Scientific. Very cool. Thanks for your time, sir. Yeah. That's, uh, so uh, I do YouTube and uh, I have a YouTube channel where I talk about medical technology. Awesome. And I've, I've been doing it for years. It's, it's been very successful. And this is the first time I've been to a dental conference. I usually travel, I travel around the country going to other medical style conferences. But uh, I have to admit that that is probably one of the coolest products it's, uh, I have ever seen. It's a year on the market. Uh, they introduced it to Cobb County School System in, just in Georgia, the 20th largest school system in the country. Um, they had a dramatic decrease in absenteeism because the kids were actually washing their hands. <laughs> they had a, a, an increase in test scores because kids were in class and were actually able to learn to be able to take tests. Um, it's, it, it's a relatively new product but it's got some incredible background. It actually won the Einstein Award, if you're familiar with that at all. It's the same award that uh, Elon Musk won for Tesla. It's the same award that Michael Dell won for um, the Dell computer. Very cool, guys. I'll tell you what, I will definitely... Uh, I'll show you some electronic stuff for it, so. I will definitely be doing a... Uh, oh, the, I wouldn't use that one. Here, tell you what. This was a last minute conference for me. I just flew in from San Diego last night. Awesome. And uh, I was at another conference and somebody said, Justin, you have to go to this one. And, and I was like, okay. Um, so, and that's the channel. And I will be uh, definitely talking about this product okay, a little Bob. bit more, so. Dr. Bob is actually the doctor that helped develop this product. Oh, really? Yeah. How you doing, sir? They nice do a meet. YouTube chat on medical devices. Right? Yeah, yeah, so, so yeah. I, I, I talk about you know, some of the most interesting products that we're going to find, which is actually why I'm here today. Because, uh, you know, everybody's got dental chairs and stuff, but I'm looking for something that's a little different. And maybe I found it. You're not going to find another thing like this in the world? Te technologic engineering behind it? It's done by Chris Thompson. Interesting. Yep. So, uh, when it comes to servicing this device, because uh, since Biomeds are, are going to be watching this video. They're, that's what they're going to be interested with. Um, how does somebody normally get this serviced, or does it even need service very often? So this needs to be preventive maintenance once every year or about forty to 50,000 cycles. Okay, wow, that's that, a lot. 
Yeah. To do that, uh, we take off the side panels mm -hmm. and we, put, we replace some cartridges that have the generator, the ozone generators in it. Okay. And we change out the fan and catalyst system here. I got you. It's once a year, and that's done by our certified technicians. Other than that, no maintenance. You hook up the water, the drain, and an electrical line, and it just runs. Huh. I'm surprised we don't see stuff like this in airports. Given I, I fly, I fly everywhere, and I, you know, yeah, and recently they started putting like the bottle bottle water yeah. fill stations. Yeah. So I would expect to see something like this, you know, just scattered throughout airports. Yeah. Interesting. Well, That's got, my card. If you need additional information, thank contact you. me and I'll get it for you. I, I would very much so like that. Maybe uh, maybe we can do a video solely on the product itself and, and talk about it. Thank Guys, thank, thank you very much. Very much. Well, that was uh, definitely an interesting. Now, what I'd like to do next is the Petri disc challenge, which is you run your hands through it, let's say twice, and then test a Petri dish and see, do you grow a culture after you, uh, you know, sanitize your hands? Because that's, that's what you have to do when it comes to sanitation, right? Look at these guys. <laughs> Taking a picture of somebody taking a picture. <laughs> That's how this works. <laughs> oh my gosh. And, and when it comes to dental people, they always have fun. That's why I expect nothing less from a conference like this. Okay. We got we got a vehicle. This this is a big haul. This is a big haul, guys. Okay. I think I already found one of the coolest products here. So uh, I'd love to run a culture test on it and see how it does. If it does well, I would endorse that product 100%. It sure is. Yeah. Well, I, I have a much, much larger camera. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I've got a huge camera that I, I normally take to expos and stuff, and I had no idea how big this one would be, so I didn't want to bring it. Yes. Yes, I got a large DJI gimbal, and it's heavy. Very heavy. Some really interesting stuff. Some of these are consumables. Some of them are marketing companies. Just uh, really interesting. Billing. This one's a billing company. Dental Intelligence. Hey, how's it going? Doing really well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, why is there a VR set? What? We do. Um, so. Doctors can either like play and try to get the high score and win one at the, end of the convention, or when you sign up, we have like a raffle going on where we will raffle off a couple of games. That's a cool, cool little way to interact with people. Yeah. Good idea. Interesting. This is dental intelligence. Interesting. Let's go ahead and cycle through. It's an interesting little product. I'm doing really good. Uh, this is Alpha Stem. Mm -hmm. What type of product is that? Uh, it's a medical device. It's FDA clear for anxiety and tummy depression. Really? That's so cool. I, uh, I have a YouTube channel where I talk about medical technology, mm -hmm. and uh, I just noticed I've never seen this product before, and I. It's been around for 40 years. A lot of research behind it. That is so cool. 
typically in the medical space, but we have a ton of vendors that use it. So we decided to come here. That makes sense. Anxiety, insomnia, and depression. So use the uh, electrical impulses as the, the means of... Uh... The mechanism, yeah. Okay. So we're using a, that one millionth of an ampere. Really? Yeah, we're targeting the midbrain and limbic system. That is so cool. So it is a prescription device, so they do have to do a doctor's order. Right. And I've, I've heard of it. Uh, well, I've heard of this technology before, but uh, never seen a product in person. There it is. Very neat. <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you. It's a lot of walking, guys. <laughs> a lot of walking. So. See no balloons today. <laughs> you can see that they've got a lounge set up. Video. It's a video camera. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, it's tiny. It definitely makes it nice doing events like this because they're so big. I don't get tired. <laughs> Investment groups. <laughs> that's, that's one way to sell it. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Oh, man. Got four different flavors. Sugar-free, regular, tropical, and watermelon. They got me. Can I get a watermelon? Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't had one yet, this will change your mind about Red Bulls. I, really? Yeah, he didn't even like Red Bulls before this, and now he's drank like... Rodeo like Dental, where, uh, where are you guys out of? We're based out of Fort Worth, Texas. Um, oh, okay. We've got about eight locations here in Houston, open up on the 9th um, as well, and we've got a uh, presence in Colorado. We've got about eight locations there. We're slept to open up in uh, Arizona, 23, so... Really? Yeah, we've got a, a, a lot of growth here heading our way. Very cool. Well, I, uh, I fix medical equipment uh, by trade, and uh, I have a YouTube channel where I talk about medical technology. Okay. And uh, I'm here just to get, uh, you know, the vibe of the conference. First dental conference I've ever been to. This is ours so. as well. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. We, uh, so we were kind of just wanting to see how this goes here. Like I said, we, we started out in 2009, so not even a full 15 years, and we've had tremendous growth. And, um, so that's why we're just trying to get out here, spread the rodeo brand awareness, and go from there. Really? Yeah. I'll tell you what, if you guys ever need uh, help with medical tech, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I am the guy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we are definitely I have a waiting. huge, uh, huge network of people online. Uh, so even if I'm not in the region, yeah. I might know somebody that can help you with something. Yeah, because um, we're trying to be some leaders there in technology. So definitely if we can have somebody help us say that'll help. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. See? Some people are cool. So, some people are not cool. And, you know, I, I love talking with people that, you know, should be at trade shows. Um, and by that, I mean that, you know, some people are just like angry at their booths and just kind of preoccupied. And I just, I don't think that those kind of people should be at trade shows because trade shows, they are a place for business, but it, this is a, what we would call, hi, this, it's what we would call a, um, you know, first reaction for you and your company. And if this is my first reaction, and it's let's say a negative, then is it really going to be a, you know, a good thing that you were even at the trade show if you have a negative reaction? What a cool setup here! This is a huge booth, by the way. Huge booth, and we have a Colgate DSF. Is this a uh, mobile uh, operatory? Uh, we provide free dental screenings for children ages 12 and under. That is so cool. Two dental chairs up here. That would be great. I, I have a YouTube channel where I talk about medical technology and you know the trends of uh, the industry. It's my first dental conference, and uh, when I see something really cool, I just 
I try and nab it. You know? <laughs> this is so cool. Thank you guys. I can see that there's a chair in the back and it looks like there's a waiting room in the front. I, I like that they have an entertainment option. Colgate, you guys are doing such a good job. See, it, you don't have to have the biggest booth, but just actually have a good impression, right? So up here is the area where um, you would have the pending wait for this, the patients. And then what's really cool is uh, there's a sliding door for privacy, but there is a sterile barrier between the two chairs. So you could have two patients running at once. Very cool. Kid-friendly. Very cool. Let's go ahead. Let's go to the other side. Let's take a look. For kids, this is the perfect size. So cool. See, they got a full dental practice technically set up. So you have just enough space for the doctor to go side by side. Very neat. It's got an air cleaning system too. Very cool. Hey, how's it going? Very neat. I'm, I, I'm taking a picture. This would be like the fourth time I've taken a picture of somebody taking a picture. Awesome. Okay. So, guys, that is the super cool Colgate vehicle. What a good booth. I like that they got it all in red. They did their own theme. They did it well. Holy cow. Sorry, guys. Fast camera movement. Right back here is a lounge area where you can get some food. It smells so good. I've not eaten yet today. <laughs> it's, it smells so good. All right. So let's see. I think I missed a couple of these rows. So we're going to come through again and see if we can get it this time. Okay. Very cool. You can see there are various types. How you doing, sir? Oh, that would be great. Thank you. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Amazing. Very compact design, too. Good on you guys. Uh, I'm familiar with uh, vacuum forming. Yeah, absolutely. So, so these are the blanks. And um, yeah, what it does is it creates a vacuum and it heats it and then it sucks it down and then you have a negative of your image. Uh, very cool. Thanks, man. Hey, ladies, how's it going? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing really well, really well. I know I'm missing some stuff, guys, and I'm trying not to. Hey, ladies, how y'all doing? Good, how are you? It is a camera. <laughs> I know it. everybody's asking me, what is that? Uh, I, I actually have a YouTube channel where I, I uh, talk about medical technology. So. Do uh, you also talk to a lot of dentists? Uh, you know something? I am going to be talking to a lot of dentists so soon. You just ask your dentist to see one patient a year, and our patients are. Okay. Just ask the dentist to take one patient a year in their office. Huh. I would probably be, I repair medical equipment, so I would not be the best one to be that, that guy. I um, that if your audience is dentist, But that's interesting. Uh, will you see one? So that's their mission. Is, mission. It's altruistic. Very cool. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate your time. Interesting message. So we got veterans.
And let's see. I don't know if I'm going to find Wade again. Um, <laughs> he's, he's here someplace. And uh, we are just, you know, freewheeling at this moment. All right. Now I think it's time to head down towards the far side and we will try and get some images of what's going on down here because I missed easily two thirds of the show. So. Sorry guys, I'm aware that this is gonna be a long video but that's because this is a huge conference. So I'll trim it down where I can trim it down, but it is what it is. Let's go see some microscopes. I can always say like microscopes are where it's at for me. Oh wow. What a good display. I like that. So they got literature in the front and they have an animated uh, show. Look at this one. Now, given in a dental environment, it's going to be different. In a medical environment, that monitor would get absolutely destroyed. Um, but I like that they're moving to larger displays. Very cool. Reminiscent of a lot of Zeiss type of microscopes that I've worked on. Oh, look at this one. It's a tabletop model. Very cool. All right, lots of fake heads <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> everywhere we go. All right. All right, so down here is the Henry Schein booth. Henry Schein's one of the industry leaders. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see what they put on. Oh, I smell the popcorn. What is, how cool is that? Ladies, how you doing? So I'm gonna have to do a spin so that y'all can see what we are dealing with here. How's it going, guys? <laughs> And now I'm down at the Henry Schein booth. Very cool. Columbia Bank. Oh, wow. All right. See, I'm definitely missing stuff. I don't even know how I could come through reasonably and get all the stuff that I need to get. All right. There's one that I'm curious about. You guys with biomed processes? No. Oh, okay. Interesting. Get some ultrasonics. I like how people utilize whatever space they can. That's always really cool. You know, because this uh, 10 by 10 booth, a 10 by 10 booth costs $4,500 for 10 by 10. So a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, this here could easily be a twenty, thirty thousand $30,000 booth for Henry Schein. And, uh, oh, it's going to be probably more than that, given its location. So could you imagine twenty to $30,000, maybe more? I mean, that's not including the booth costs, you know, for the hardware and stuff, you know. So Henry Schein is the big dogs, huh? I see a curing light. Now, what is this guy? It's an interesting device. So that's like, because I was at this Very cool. I know customer support is that place. What'd you say? And again, so, so like, if, if a, because 
We got the 3D printing and the, the mills. Hey, how's it going? And we've got Henry Shine 1. So Henry Shine has got a second booth. This one is just as big. Look how massive these booths are. Water pick, very famous brand. Of course, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at the product lineup. Why not? Let's go ahead and do it. Very interesting. So the traditional water pick. And they've got the ultrasonic toothbrush. So that's interesting. That's very cool. I'm curious what this guy is. Other traditional water picks. And they do have these in different colors. Hey, how's it going? No, no, don't worry about it. It's all good. You can see the different attachments. Interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's tiny. <laughs> Do you have any questions about anything? I'm curious about that little um, multi purpose water pick slash uh, a toothbrush. This one? Yeah. Okay. So you can take it off with this little button here right. and walk around and use it as a toothbrush. This right. is a Sonic Fusion 2.0. So you can also connect it and use it as a water flosser by itself. Or while it's connected, you can use it as a water flosser and a toothbrush at the same time. That would be cool. So it has the same pressure dial, 1 to 10, like your Aquarius. So you're yep. not losing any pressure. And then I'm just going to just set these. <laughs> That's where we're at with this. So it's going to come with two brush tops. So you'll okay. have a compact size and a standard size. And then when you get replacement heads, it's either going to be a pack of two compact or two standard. But you get one of each to determine what you like. Fascinating. So it does need to be plugged in to be right. used unless you are unplugging it to walk around and use right. this brush. Okay. So it's got wireless charging embedded in the uh, console. Okay. So obviously, you know, it has to be plugged in to charge. Right, right. Yeah. And it, you get to say that, but of course you do. <laughs> and it does have to be connected to use it as a water flosser because your reservoir with the water is here. Right. It goes through the line and it's going to come out of the booth spigot that's here. Ah. The yeah. Cool product. Thank you. Interesting. So this is $79.99. Really? Yeah, so it's a charging it special. There you go. Oh, wow. So it's going to be $79.99 for Why was I expecting it to be so much more expensive? Because it retails for $219. Uh -huh. But the trial unit offer that we have, even for exhibitors, is going to be $79.99. What a cool, cool device. Yeah. Interesting. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Have a great day. That's from Waterpick. What a cool, cool device. Guys, I'm going to get one of those. Hands down, I'm gonna have one. Oh, look at this. And these guys have a podcaster and influencer hub, which is really interesting. So you can see them recording. <laughs> Again, I'm taking a picture of somebody taking pictures. Interesting. Actually, put a quite an investment into this. Good idea. So we get 360 cameras up here on, on posts. Fascinating. Oh, look at this! And they have another booth for podcasters and influencers. <laughs> I wonder what type of people those are. What a comfortable space though. Good job guys. And it's actually reasonably quiet over here. So it's 
pretty cool. You can see people doing their thing. So, again, hey, somebody taking photos of somebody taking photos. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and let's photobomb. Ready? Here we go. Photobomb. Better bomb is on your channel. <laughs> All right, so this is a reasonably quiet area. Interesting. All right. I'll tell you what. This little camera that I'm holding is getting kind of warm. And I think I'm going to run out of battery. <laughs> How crazy is this? All right, so um, again, we have some mills set up over here, Glidewall. Some cool technology there. Got some more unique chairs and stuff set up. But guys, my battery is definitely going to die. I've got to go way down there. Not going to happen. Um, so I'll tell you what. This, here's what we're going to do. I'll walk you around really quickly. And we'll show you the show from what I see. I, we're going to unfortunately miss a lot of stuff. But it is what it is because we are going to run out of battery here. Lots of people, definitely. Lots of people. See, these guys here have some good spots right here in the middle. Look at this. Very cool. Some of these people have the right idea. You got like free food and stuff at the booth. That's what I'm talking about. I'm actually kind of surprised that there's so many uh, people that do podcasts and stuff for um, for dental. It's fascinating because it's dental, you know. But their industry is way above uh, the biomed industry when it comes to uh, actually uh, being ahead of the curve. Now you can see it actually articulating. What a cool lineup. You can see the auto tool changer, ETC. There's all the tooling. Very cool setup. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All the different materials, different things that you can do. Interesting. Oh, look at this little curing oven. That's so cool, it's tiny. Absolutely tiny. Appreciate it. Anyway, oh, we're coming down here. There is somebody else that's given a, um, given a, a little show. And here is Phillips, which is the type of toothbrush that I currently use. And uh, in my opinion, it's definitely one of the best that you can get. Phillips for years has been my favorite toothbrush. Oh, and look at this. I actually like that little carrying case. Very cool. Alright. Let's see. 
another 3D imager scanner. The Provecta 3D. This one's got a larger base, which I would feel probably more secure with. Very cool. Oh, and they got a little compressor sitting on the back wall. And another compressor, the Airstar. Interesting. I like how they got them all on the same rack. And it makes it very serviceable, as you guys know, is one of my priorities. Interesting. Thanks, guys. No, sir. Good. All right. Care Stream Dental. Another major company, of course. And then we got more loops. These are massive aisleways, massive. All right. Oh, look at this. This is a cool little lounge area in the middle. People can chat and whatnot. I like it. I really do. Oh, look at the care stream imager. You want to talk a compact model? Look at this. That is almost as compact as it gets, I think. Look at the base. Really cool. I like that they got a 3D revolving model up here. Spent a lot of money on these booths. Thanks. Look at, oh gosh, look at this one. Look at this one, Crest. I, you guys want to see where the money's at in dental? It's in the consumables like Colgate, Crest, of course. Look at these. Oh, cool. Here we have a care stream. And this one's got a chair set up. This is very cool. Interesting. So, see, it's, it's kind of like that, where not only do I get an angry look, but, you know, zero S is given. They'll, they'll just walk right in front of you. At least some people are courteous about it. Um, nope. Care stream, didn't care. Not important enough. Although this video is probably going to get more views for them than most of their other things that they do. Nope. Good on you, Care Stream. Cabo. Oh, man. These guys go back. I like that. What a cool setup. Cabo is, used to be the industry leader. I don't know if they still are, but, uh, they do some cool stuff. Oh wow, check this out. You get the, the same ray scan, only it was articulating. It was, it was just moving and now it's not moving. Very cool. to start walking faster guys unfortunately Look at all these products and then 
Now I'm at Invisalign. Hey, massive boost. I'm not really sure what those devices are. That's why I need Wade here to help me out. Where are you, Wade? Where'd you go? Look at this booth. This is beautiful. Very well lit. NSK. What a good idea, guys. All their hand pieces. What a beautiful booth. I like it. Oh, look at this. So it lets you uh, try out the hand pieces on a uh, piece of bone. It's a cool demo. I imagine if you use hand pieces every day, that you would definitely differentiate you know, different motor heads and, you know, quality one versus not quality. <clears throat> Aflac insurance. Ah, facial shields. Zeiss. Oh, you guys know I like Zeiss. You guys know it. Oh, you're fine. Thank you. They always have some of the most beautiful microscopes. Very cool. Thanks, guys. Is that uh, always in the room, or is that just for the, the demo? I mean, it doesn't have to be, but it can be. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I, at first, I thought it was a static image, and then I just realized that uh, what you were doing. Yeah, that's wireless, beautiful. Wireless Look, at, yeah. Look at the quality of that image. Do I want to get on that's amazing. So that's actually the image that they're looking at. Very cool. Wireless video. So cool. Thanks, I appreciate your time, man. So you guys know that I, I've worked on uh, a lot of Zeiss before, um, a lot of their optics. I've done a little bit of everything, and um, it's one of those products I've always respected because they they have such a good product. I mean, sometimes I don't appreciate like the hours encoding on the bulbs and stuff, but you know, when it comes to actually being a quality microscope, obviously they're one of the best. Oh, here we got some cool stuff. So let's see, we got a tall thing right there looks like a laser. We have a 3D print box, interesting. You can tell uh, Dental Laboratory is where a lot of these uh, products are, are being focused around. And that is absolutely amazing. And this, if I remember it, yeah, this is 3D printing using um, fluid. So there's a laser that comes in and it activates the fluid and it creates a solid, which is how you actually get the 3D laser. So it's a cool product. Oh, look at all the beautiful hand pieces. Very cool. Oh, look at these. Serzone air purifiers. Very cool product. Big product. Okay. So it uses ozone? Yeah. Then we get a smaller one. 
and they're whisper quiet. Whisper quiet. Interesting product. Thanks, Brian. I was just noticing that it's so quiet. It is. This is less than 50 decibels of sound, uh, 220 uh, CFM. So we're moving a lot of air, but doing it very quietly. Uh, the difference with, with this air purification system and others is that we generate ozone inside the machine okay. to kill any airborne viruses or bacteria, uh, influenza, anything like that, in 1.2 seconds. And then before it leaves the machine, we convert it back to room air. And okay. all the ozone stays inside the machine. Oh, so really? We literally capture the power of ozone. I was wondering about that because, you know, just generating ozone would not be very healthy if we were bringing no, it back in. No, exactly. But we okay. maintain all that inside the machine. Uh, we have sensors on the machine that if any if it detects any ozone outside the machine, it shuts the machine down. Huh. Uh, anyway, so we harness the power of ozone without adding any ozone to the environment. What a cool product. Yeah, it's neat. This is, this is our first product. We launched it in January. This is coming out first of the year. Okay. Uh, it's a smaller unit designed for uh, physician practices, dental practices, you know, right. for 1,500 to 2,000 square foot space. Really? That much yeah. space? Yeah. This one will do like uh, three to 5,000. Holy cow. Interesting product. Yeah. Haven't seen anything like it so far at the show. Well, I think we're the only one here right now. But nobody has an air purification system like this. It's, huh. it's unique in its use of those. Interesting. Thanks for your Thanks time. For stopping by. Now I think I have my second product that I would say goes for product of the show. I, you know, I'm precautious and everything, but it's just one of those things. When when you come up with a better way of doing business, and, and you know, a lot of things that some people are doing is. Um, it's the same. So when I see something that's a new product and they do it a different way, um, I'm always curious. Look at these. Ooh, this little camera that's in my hand is getting so warm, guys. Oh, look at this. All right, another Cutco blue. Interesting. Ooh, look at this one. This is a massive one. You can see taking the 3D images and then they'll use those 3D images later for implants and stuff. How cool is that? Look how massive this guy is. How are you? Doing good. Good. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a, it's a good, very solid 10 year warranty because of, really? because of the, the, yeah. You kind of see how well the, how good the build quality is. Wow. This is probably the biggest one that I've seen at the show so far. Yeah, I would say so. It's, you know, this, this mounting stand is important because if you're, if you're not drilling into four inches of concrete, it's, you've got to have something to balance the weight. I gotcha. Yeah. That definitely makes sense. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Pick a gnome? <laughs> what is this? What are these guys doing? Oh, you can build your own. You see what they're doing? Okay. So you take a thing, you put a beard, and you build your own. Oh, geez. That's so cool. All right, All right guys. And, and that brings me down to the end of the show. I know I missed quite a bit of stuff, but that that's all right. And you see that NASA's got, they've got their own demo down here. Oh, look at this. Was not expecting to see this at the show, that's for sure. Touch a moon rock. And uh, what a cool display, of course. How you doing, sir? Good, I'm doing really well. Good. I was not expecting to see this at the show. A lot of people have had that reaction. That's so cool. Oh, wow. And has about as much living space as a six bedroom house. Look at this. Oh, it's, it's very air conditioned in here, guys. For months at a time and have maintained a constant Ooh. presence on ISS. So Since cold in here. <gasps> oh, and look at this. Station circles the globe at an altitude of about 200 It's a piece of the moon. You can touch it. What an interesting, interesting booth. Hey, how's it going? Oh, that's it right there? 
That is so cool. So cool, guys. <laughs> hey, how's it going? And uh, they have uh, static displays that you can uh, put your face up into. How cool is that? Hey, there he is. What's going on, Wade? <laughs> oh my gosh. So, um, I, I, my battery was running a little bit low, so I, I had to make sure that we just get it while I can get it. Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to have to cut this short because this camera here, uh, the battery is down to like 5%. And that's unfortunate. There's, I know there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to miss, but you get the gist. Uh, the technology is actually what's pushing these conferences forward. The uh, 3D imagers, we got 3D printers, we have 3D mills. And uh, you can see the, the idea is to get a more accurate representation of the patient's mouth so that you can treat it better. Um, overall trend and what an amazing show that this has been <laughs> this camera this camera is doing its own thing guys but uh anyway i just want to say thank you uh for watching if you watch this all the way through because i know that this is a uh, very very big video it's it's 90 minutes or so holy cow i'm gonna have to trim it down guys but uh just the same is uh i want to thank wade for bringing me out here because this kind of content, I think, is going to be the future for many of you viewers. And look at this camera, it's just moving around on its own. All right, so anyway, guys, uh, I apologize for the camera angles going a little quirky and everything. And uh, Wade, I'll leave a link to his business. He's got a dental. They uh, buy and sell used dental equipment and uh, new equipment often. And he's gonna be setting up a web store soon enough. And when he does, I'll go ahead and uh, modify the link for that. But uh, if you are looking for some equipment or need some help on equipment, look Wade up. I'll leave his LinkedIn information in this video description. And he's an excellent source of information, guys. So thank you, Wade, for coming with me. All right. And uh, guys, I hope you really enjoy these kind of videos.